guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today I am going to be demoing three lash styles from Blinking Beauté's Premier Lash Collection. Now, I hadn't heard of these lashes at all until I walked into a beauty shop. These are mink lashes, and I they really caught my eye in the store, and then I decided to go home and do some price and research. all their lashes retail from $30 to $40, which is a standard price for mink lashes, though I was hoping they would be a little cheaper just because I hadn't heard of them before. Uh, oh well, they're beautiful anyway, and I decided to go ahead, bite the bullet, and get three of these bad boys. Ooh. Oh, oh, everything goes so smoothly in my videos. Anyway, <laughs> I decided to bite the bullet and get three of these bad boys. Um, I decided to do it because I really wanted to make a comprehensive overview. I YouTubed and didn't see anybody with any video at all on these lashes. So I was like desperate to become the person to fill that void. So that is what I have done. Anyway, we're going to go ahead now and I'm going to show you guys close-ups of each lash. I couldn't resist showing you guys this majestic looking image of all the lashes sitting stacked on top of each other. And right here is a preview of all the three lashes. In case you couldn't tell, I really love thick, full, fluffy lashes. So these are all really voluminous and definitely right up my alley. Okay guys, so we're going in chronological order. And first up is Lash or The Lash in design number two. This is a really full, beautiful lash. And as you can see, the packaging is super sleek too. Um, I can't remember if this was the first lash I picked up in the store, but this one definitely had me at hello. Design number three is absolutely ridiculously beautiful. Seriously, look how full these lashes are. They are just literally perfection. Um, these also remind me of Lash in the City by Velour Lashes, so if you do like that style, this reminds me a lot of it. Now might be a good time to mention why my hands look like that. Um, I actually tried to wash these lip stains off my hands I had swatched and it just went all wrong. Moving on, design number 6 is super beautiful as well. This one is really demure and feathery and just wispy. It looks really pretty and I think this would be great for the daytime. So I think I tried to just use water and my other hand to like wipe my left hand off and it just didn't work so I'm kind of showing you that now even with soap actually. Hey guys, the moment is upon us for me to actually start trying on the lashes so I'm going to first start with lash number two. Okay guys so here's design number two. It's so beautiful. Tell me why I feel like these just make your eye look bigger and they're just so fluffy and nice. These are really long. I think this one is a little taller than this one, so it's like literally touching my brow, but they're so pretty, guys, really. I thought number three would be my favorite, but I don't know, number two is kind of blowing my mind right now. <laughs> So here's design number two. I thought I would like it more than design number three, but um, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's the application or what, but these ones, I think it is the application, guys. I don't think I really sat these down far enough on my lash, at least not on the outside. But they kind of like box your eye in a little bit more, like they fence like from the outer corner and the inner corner, and it's just kind of like wispy but it's not as seamless, I feel like. I'm not too sure about this one, but I mean, I still like it. Like, they're still really pretty and fluffy. <laughs>
guys, on to the last pair. So I'm going to try out design number six now. So yeah guys, this is the final lash. So honestly, I would say going in order, two is the longest and fullest. Three is, I don't know how to compare three. It looks a lot wispier than I kind of envisioned. Like the lashes sort of have more curl to them, um, sitting on like the actual band. So I don't know if I would say that's like the second fullest, but I guess so because these are, um, I think the most natural looking. They just give your eye a really nice, beautiful, delicate kind of look. And I'm really happy with these. Um, they were really easy to um, take out of the box. They fit your eye very nicely. I really didn't have to make many adjustments. And they're just a nice lash. I think the price point is right. I think it's definitely high quality and I really like them. However, I don't get why every time I wear a pair of like mink lashes for the first time, when I like take them off and put them back, even if I've like taken a lot of care and only one or two lashes have come out or whatever in the process of taking them off your eyes, they always look so much more lackluster once they're in the box. That's design number three. Here's design number two. This is design number two. Okay guys, so that's the video. I hope you liked it. I think it would be very helpful, I'm assuming. In my head, all the clips and all the pictures have gone off flawlessly, and if that is the case, then I think that it has been a really thorough, proper review that's been documented with video and pictures. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm a content creator for my job. I'm an editorial writer, so I'm always thinking about content. <laughs> so that's why I'm like saying it in such weird, like technical terms. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I very much enjoyed it as well. It was a little nerve wracking to be trimming all these, like on the spot, I was like freaking out a little because I really didn't want to mess any of them up. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will definitely be tons of pictures um, on my blog, which I will go ahead and link for you guys down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye!